Hey everybody, welcome back. I am going to do a walk around of a camping trailer, a boondock trailer. I'm not sure exactly what to call it. We'll ask Randy. He's the builder of this trailer. It is super cool. I mean, everything from the flags to the antenna to cooking setup. You got to check it out. Stay tuned for this. All right, here we go. We have Randy here, the creator, the mastermind of this awesome boondock trailer. Um, tell us a little bit what you got here. Well, first I have to go back to the very beginning. Um, our father-son camp out has been going on for probably, I'd say a good 20 years. Uh, I've been getting into that about the past maybe 12 years. And so uh, my son and I uh, showed up one of their uh, first camping trips and uh, they're just like, everyone was unprepared. I've been in scouting all my life, so I was just like, man, we gotta think of something different. So um, this is my third design. So th I call this uh, the Chuck Wagon 3.85. <laughs> so uh, I, I built it originally back in June of 2019 after two other ones that I just did not feel it was uh, very feasible or um, accessible. So I built one that's more open. So uh, this one, the top folds down so uh, i got some stuff in the way anything else yeah so just folds so right all cool. the way and i call this the camp war rig <laughs> i love it <laughs> this is cool so uh that's the way it opens up you can see pretty much i got a receiver hitch on the back right here what, what kind of trailer do uh, this here? is a uh this is an old harbor freight uh, it's an eight uh, eight foot by four foot, eight foot, foot and it was like just a frame. I just bought it regular. It was like, a, it was like uh, back then. It was, I think it was like I got it for like two hundred bucks. Another two. It was one hundred ninety nine dollars. It was just cheap. They're red um, now, I believe. Did you paint it or did you? I did. I have done modification to it. Uh, okay. It it did bend, so I had to re uh, do some welding got on it heavy. and uh, sister up some angle. So, but the wheel hubs, they, those were originally twelve. I upgraded to thirteen and uh, upgraded the uh nice um, you can step on that yes you can step on that so that's get nice to the and top. sturdy and everything so all right so right, we're gonna go back in here i guess make sure all right so i've uh created uh, a slide out that to be accessible awesome. got oh, the yeah. silverware drawer here um, most of my cast iron it's heavy duty so it'll hold a lot of cast oh, iron yeah. there so I see it. you got massive um, <laughs> cast iron. So that all folds away. I got two uh, MG, um, what are those? AGMs? Yeah, AGMs yeah. in there. I uh, got two of them. Oh, They're yeah. tied in together. Right back in there. Um, yep. Yeah. Let's see. And then I, I got a plug right there. You can plug a battery charger, oh, keep them plugged in as they're sure. And then I just, I just did up my own rig this here. This is cool. All your fuses. Yeah, your... it tells me how much wattage, amperage. Uh, there is a 200 watt uh, solar panel on top. Okay, nice. So uh, these are magnet strips. These are like lifesavers oh, right here. Oh, that's a so great idea. That's a great idea. Uh, most of my spice is there and everything. Uh, so you might see some radios here. These uh, I got in the GMRS. So right. Uh, right now the FCC sells those licenses for $35 for uh, 10 years. So I and it's growing in popularity. So look that up if you guys are interested in that. Super cool. So oh oh, I've got the LED. LED lights. Oh, nice. It's very that. low amperage, so um, at night this thing really gets bright. It's it's on a dimmer That's switch. So you can cool. really dim <laughs> dim, dim it down. So <laughs> if the mood's uh, right, right? Yeah. So, but uh, that's about it. Um, several knives, all the accessories, everything else like that. Um, all right, let's go to this side. Yes. So this, um, I bought this uh, from. I forgot where I got that from. Can't. It's a. Uh, it's a cheap three burner, heavy duty cast. I was gonna get rid of it, and then I was looking at it, and I'm just saying, you know what? I'm gonna incorporate that in my chuck wagon, uh, my war rig here. So what I did was I welded some uh, uh, thing. So this thing oh, folds, hinges. yeah. This thing folds right up. I got some wing nuts that go through. Oh, no way, and, it tucks uh, in to the side here. In, oh yeah. right there, so. Oh yeah, I see your spots It folds here. up right against it, um, and don't That's have any it. issues driving. No, I don't have any issues. So it just folds right up against it. 
and it's good for travel. Pretty cool. Um, I do have my Blackstone. My Blackstone here, I completely break it down and there's a bracket underneath here that the handle that I put up in there and it goes right up against there. So, oh, no way. Yeah, so uh, I do have a uh, triangle here. So, um, <laughs> he, a was guy, this, he was showing this earlier. A guy from our church, uh, he retired from uh, D, uh, BP and uh, just now does iron work, you know. So uh, he made this uh, triangle for oh, uh, the camp. So. But yeah, it gets loud. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I, but he it. made the bracket and everything. Everything's taken apart. I stow it away and oh, travels yeah. and and uh, super do that. So, um, all right. So this table breaks down. I throw that in there. This goes on the side, and it gets all stowed away. So you run everything off propane. Yeah, I run everything off uh, low pressure propane. And uh, oh, yeah, you got tanks galore. I got. I, I usually carry three tanks. Depending on how much cooking we do, I right. heat the water up, everything else like that. Yeah, so he's a, he's I do a big time cooker. Uh, have a thing that you can switch. I don't have both propane hooked, but that's fine. Um, yeah. So uh, we have been here for since Monday and probably used a half a tank. I mean, very efficient. Yeah, that's, so, that's nice. Um, Tarps here. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, our, so as I opened this up, the, the only downfall to this, if you're running into a rainstorm as you're traveling, everything gets wet. So, yeah, it, that's just the you downfall. Open, but it's right? more open, and uh, I made this shelf to store all my other tarps and tents and poles and stuff like that on top. And then the rest of the gear goes right in here in this area. Like so almost like a garage yeah, set up here. Yeah, plenty of bungee. Oh, so man, I mean yeah. everything. So I uh, got the flagpole. This was added uh, last year. Um, I bought this uh, flagpole off of uh, Amazon for it was like fifty nine dollars or something like bad. that. So, um, so this is my GMRS uh, antenna. It's a it's a painter's pole, 30, 35 foot painter's pole. <laughs> so <laughs> it's way up here. Um, yeah, so you can barely see it. Uh, that's connected to one of the radios, and I could really reach out and communicate to whoever's that's, got a radio. That's so, awesome. I'm trying to learn uh, about that. That's all right. So this is a handy thing. I yes. used to carry a, a f half a ladder. And you used to bungee, but um, this is like this is a lifesaver. Oh yeah, I bought this from Menards. We gotta use, watch the fingers. We used this last year to hang up my tarp. Yeah, you could yeah. put it against the rope. Uh, like if you were out in the campsite and you had to rig up a piece of a rope on a tree somewhere, you could get up in the tree and do that. So, but you know, it just stows away. I got yeah. a full ladder. That's that's the chuck wagon everyone's that is named awesome. it. So the war rig. The war rig. Yeah. It is super cool. I always love this kind of stuff. I just didn't really I've never built one or anything. I mean you got your generator and everything. Yeah, just um, for the backup. Just it's awesome. Case. It is super, super cool. You got your solar. Super cool. I appreciate yeah. it, Randy. Yeah. Thank you for showing You're us welcome. this and thank, thank you. you for cooking for yes. everybody. Yes. You've uh it's you've fun. been Oh you these are uh, oh, these are one things that uh, are really handy. So this is a plowing disc. Oh my word! Cowboy disc, cowboy. <laughs> they call them cowboy discs. So those are so handy. Uh, we cooked the bacon this morning, so oh, yeah. we saved the bacon grease. Yeah, that's, <laughs> but, that's where all the um, flavor. Yeah, it's just uh, very simple. Yeah, and that's... and uh, very very nice. It's so, insane, it's like how good of their cook they uh, these yes. guys are. Uh, you uh, started me on to cowboy coffee. Oh yeah, uh, cowboy coffee. I mean, just boiling um, the grounds. Oh, I, for, I forgot. Hit, look up on YouTube. Uh, there's a guy that uh, does it, a bunch of cooking. Is it Ken Rollins? Yes, Ken yeah. Rollins. Yeah, and uh, he has the perfect example of cowboy coffee. But uh, uh, yes. I don't drink coffee at all, and this guy makes coffee, <laughs> and I drink it, and it's it's good. So. Yeah. So, well, I appreciate it. Thank you, Randy. Right. Awesome setup. You've done a great job hey, on this awesome thing. Awesome setup, Randy. <laughs>